Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 24 of 2019, amending some provisions of the penal code issued by Decree Law 15 of 1976, after its approval by the Shura and Representatives Councils. The text of Article 277 bis of the Penal Code of Decree Law 15 of 1976 is replaced by the following text. A penalty of imprisonment for a period not exceeding 10 years and a fine of no less than 500 Bahraini dinars and not exceeding 1,000 shall be imposed on anyone who makes flammable or explosive materials with the intent of using it or dis dis disrupting it to endanger people's lives or public or private funds or possessing the materials for which it was made for the same purpose. Two new articles, number 277 bis 1 and 277 bis 2, are added to the Decree Law 15 of 1976, which reads as follows. Article 277 bis 1, a penalty of imprisonment for a period not exceeding five years and a fine not exceeding 500 shall be imposed on whoever possesses flammable or explosive materials with the intent to endanger the people's lives or public or private funds. Article 277 bis 2, whoever distributes or uses flammable or explosive materials for the same purpose shall be punished with imprisonment for a period not exceeding eight years. The term of imprisonment is life or temporary imprisonment that is not less than 10 years if the use leads to permanent disability and the penalty is death or life imprisonment if the use leads to the death of a person. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Algerian President Abdel Majid Taboun on the demise of the Deputy Defense Minister and Chief of Staff of the People's National Army, General Ahmed Qayed Saleh. His Majesty the King prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless the deceased with mercy and his family with patience. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to Algerian President Abdel Majid Taboun on the demise of Deputy Defense Minister and Chief of Staff of the People's National Army General Ahmed Qayed Saleh. His Royal Highness Prime Minister prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless the disease with mercy and his family with patience. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 35 of 2019 appointing Sheikh Mohammed bin Ali bin Mohammed Al Khalifa as Director of International Cooperation and Development at the Interior Ministry's Office of the Ombudsman. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 36 appointing the current Director of Aviation Safety and Security at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications as Aeronautical Licensing Director at the same ministry. The current Director of Land Transportation Planning and Studies, Shams Rashid Khalfan, was appointed as Director of Land Transportation Monitoring and Inspection at the same ministry. Under the edict, Latifa Matlak Jamaat Dawadi was appointed as Director of Post Offices, Hussain Ali Agub as Director of Land Transportation Planning and Studies, Muhammad Abdullah Zainal Muhammad as Director of Aviation Safety and Security, Basim Salman Al Asfur as Director of Meteorology and Ye Yasser Hassan Sayyid Ali as Director of Air Navigation Systems at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 37 appointing directors at the Ministry of Information Affairs. Maryam Isa Bukamal was appointed as Director of Creativity and Electronic Media, Qais Hassan al Dostari as Director of Television, and Abdurrahman Khalid al Midfa as Director of News at the Information Affairs Ministry. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 38 appointing Yasser Mbarak al Ramethi as Director of Human Resources at the Electricity and Water Affairs Authority. He also issued Edict 39 appointing the current Director of Central Internal Auditing at the Ministry of Finance and National Economy as Director of Risk Analysis at the National Bureau for Revenues. Under the same edict, Nawaf Sayyid Hashim al Sada was appointed as Director of External Tax Relations, Yusuf Adel Muhammad Matar as Director of Tax Policies, Noor Hafid Baali as Director of Operations and Auditing, and Nada Alawi as Director of Communication and Customer Service. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Algerian President Abdel Majid Taboun on the demise of Deputy Defense Minister and Chief of Staff of the People's National Army, General Ahmed Qayyid Saleh. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless the deceased with mercy and his family with patience. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fazia Zainal, chaired the weekly meeting where the Council approved issuing a statement expressing thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his decree regarding exempting some of those convicted of penalties and directing to strengthen the application of the Alternative Penal, co penal Code. 
The Council approved a draft law regarding private education and training institutions and approved a report on establishing a health center in Khalifa City. The Council also approved solving the problem of the disruption of the salaries of the security guards of the Ministry of Education and on the failure to include the Electricity and Water Affairs Authority within the obligated bodies to provide credit information centers benefit with customer information. The Council then approved issuing a number of statements and to instruct the Bureau of the Council to formulate them regarding support for the situation of Muslims in China and regarding the rejection of racial discrimination contrary to international standards in India. The 25th session of the Executive Office of the Arab Ministerial Council for Tourism concluded, which was held in Al Hassa Governorate in the Eastern Province, in the presence of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Al Zayani, who headed the Bahraini delegation. The meetings were chaired by the Chairman of Board of Directors for the Saudi Commission for Tourism and National Heritage, Ahmed Al Khatib, in the presence of Arab tourism ministers and a number of Arab and international organizations. He stressed that this meeting emphasizes the importance of joint Arab action in the field of tourism considering that the Kingdom and the rest of the Arab countries have opportunities to develop the sector and turn it into an important source to support the economies of Arab countries. It was agreed at the meeting that the next session will be in Cairo and Manama was chosen as the capital of Arab tourism in 2020. The Kingdom of Bahrain stresses that the rulings of the Criminal Court of Saudi Arabia regarding the murder of the citizen Jamal Khashoggi reflect justice and full integrity of the judiciary. The Kingdom also notes that the rulings also reflect the unwavering commitment of Saudi Arabia to comply with the law and hold those involved in this case accountable. Bahrain reiterates its firm stance in rejecting all attempts by any party to target Saudi Arabia or aim to undermine its security and stability or intervene in its internal affairs in any form. Bahrain further affirms its complete solidarity with the efforts exerted by Saudi Arabia at the regional and international levels as it is a cornerstone of peace and stability in the region and the entire world.